Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In today's video I want to create a monorepo using bun. Right, so what are monorepos? Well, a monorepo is a version controlled code repository that holds many projects. While these projects may be related, they are often logically independent and run by different teams. But for this use case, I want to just use it to have multiple packages that you can use within the server as well within the client and just share some kind of common component or common package as well. So one big disclaimer, um, we need to have a clean script because there are still some issues within Burn when I record this video. So uh, let's first uh, look into what you need to do. You need to have a package.json, which has a workspaces, and then you have package slash, and then this one, and then apps slash, and then an asterisk, and then um, you can have the packages and the apps, uh, for example. I'm just going to packages. I'm going to do this, cd uh, packages. And we are just going to create here some folders. So I'm going to create client and I'm also going to create a server and I'm going to create here common. And we now do this CD client you can do a burn in it. I'm going to see add force slash Client. All right, here we go. Can do the same for common. I'm gonna name it here a common, right? Here we go. And we need to do the same for server. And now I need to do something like this, add. So I need to do um, put it, add force slash server. Here we go. Now we have this one, right? And so normally we should be able now to do something like this. We can then do uh, dependencies. And we can do then here within the client, and I'm just gonna do it right here. Uh, add force slash client workspace slash uh, uh, this one. I'm gonna save it. Now it's saying like, hey, you need to find, um, and uh, it's not client, it's, it's common need to find at force slash common in workspace uh, asterisk. So um, now when we go up and up, uh, we can do now burn install and it's installing everything. Right, so and, and that's great because now we have here our node modules and here you see that we have force and we have client common server which is great um one of the things i now want to do and you will see that it will fail then but uh so we're gonna go to cd uh, common uh, uh, cd packages of course cd common and now i want to install or add it's dot. Now that's been installed. If I go one up, one up, and I do now, bun install, you'll see that we have a problem. If I now do bun run clean, it removes that. Then we do bun install, and it will work again. So you need to know that 
when you are changing certain things um, your uh, bun.log b uh, sits in the way um, there is some kind of a threat there uh, within the bun community that goes over this issue um, I was reading into it and there is indeed a problem so um, I, I took this workaround from from their uh, github uh, page and I hope that they will fix it in one of the next uh, versions when it's so I will also uh, create a video around it and tell you guys how this will will, will, will go and um, I also gonna just work a little bit with this because what I want to do is I want to create an application right here and I want to create the packages that I want to publish I want to publish them to GSR the new uh, stunning uh, JavaScript uh, package um, that's out there uh, to just test things out I think it's really crazy and really great to do the things like this and we'll see how this further uh, goes right so the issue that I showed you guys is this one eh? uh, bun install is not recognized in the workspaces anymore uh, and you see here that it has a big threat with all people facing the same kind of issue um, and they are prioritizing it uh, for having it in bun 1 or 2 so I'm very curious uh, what it will be and how they will solve it but I think it's a great thing would when it would be solved so uh, bun not resolving packages in workspaces I think the bun version needs bumping to include recent fixes um, then they have another workaround here I didn't uh, try that out I will add this into the comment below uh, into the comments below uh, so that you guys also can uh, work around with this but for example here this script adds dependencies latest or specified versions to the package.json file skipping the installation uh, process um, So that could be a great one. Actually, you have MPX, uh, so you have also BunX, which is doing the same as MPX, which is also great to know. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And maybe you're also gonna use it like I am going to use this. Uh, still, indeed, it's not nice that they have an open issue around it but I assume that they will fix it the latest comment is two weeks ago um, I know that the burn team is on it so let's do fingers crossed and go on with that thank you very much I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up or uh, like this uh, channel share this channel uh, subscribe and uh, to this channel and see you next time.